Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that had the Lucina position. Now this is a typical end game position which uh, can come up and there's only one way you can deal with it. So I'll be telling you this, so stick to the end of this video and you will get to know how to use it, how to convert that into a final winning position. So let's begin with this one and it started off with e4 from the opponent. I went with c6, open plays a bishop to c4 and I went with d5, opponent takes here, I take back and bishop goes uh, now to b5 trying to give me a check. I offered the bishop exchange, the light square bishop and opponent does trade here which is always helpful. A uh, light square bishop is an important piece for the white pieces. And we have traded that for our bad bishop, which was the light square one. Knight develops to d7, opponent develops knight to f3. And now I went with e5, uh, trying to occupy the majority of center, open castles. And here comes e4. Now, uh, I just wanted to gain some momentum and push the knight away from there. But otherwise, I would not recommend that uh, because I'm extensively pushing my pawns ahead. And that can be bad. Uh, here open plays knight to d4 and I went with bishop c5 again hitting the knight and now knight to b3. Now if you see the opponent has only moved the knight now for a three, third time already in the ninth move which is not the right way. You should not be uh, moving the same piece again and again in the opening your first 10 moves. Try to make sure that you get a good solid position in the opening. You develop all your minor pieces. If you see here, the opponent hasn't developed uh, the knight and the bishop on the other side of the board, uh, has exchanged the uh, only piece which was developed earlier, which was the light square bishop, and now the knight is being chased around. Not the right way to be playing. Uh, so that's one lesson from here. Now, before we continue with this game further, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. Now after knight goes to b3, of course I have to save my bishop, so bishop goes back to b6, always eyeing this wonderful diagonal towards the king, pinning the pawn on to f2. Open plays knight to c3, hitting the pawn now uh, with the knight. And here I went with knight e5, uh, offering him to take it. Open doesn't take and it gets the queen out onto h5. And why so? Because open cannot take, my queen is guarding it. So there's no threats here, open cannot take. So queen comes to h5, hitting the knight now. Uh, so opponent is hitting the knight and also attacking the f7 square here. I went with a queen onto f6, defending the knight. And here open can play a pawn to a d4, which is the computer's choice. But opponent went with d3, trying to develop the bishop next. I went with g6 trying to kick the queen backwards, queen now goes to e2, allows me to trade the pawn but I still denied, I thought of developing my other knight and castling quickly because my king is in center, open does take here and I push my pawn forward to d4, uh, making sure that the knight is again chased away uh, and now knight comes to d5, here I trade off, open does take back and now I castle. So it's a decent position after move number 16, quite equally balanced. Open places a bishop to e3, which is a blunder, and I took on that. Uh, maybe open had a mouse slip there. I took on, and then I sidestep with the queen. Open goes king to h1. Here I try to exchange the queens of the board because I will be having advantage after a trade happens. And then rook comes on to e1, trying to hit the bishop. And the knight, knight goes to c4, defending the bishop. Now the other rook also attacks my bishop and I got back onto b6. Opponent tries to get the other rook left as well uh, to e4, attacking the knight. And here I made a blunder. I moved my knight to the wrong square, thinking it's a fork, but knight takes back. So the extra piece that I had got uh, as an advantage is gone. And then uh, rook a to e8, opponent does trick here, I take back. Open has to be careful here because I have a check coming. It's not a mate because rook and knight both can defend that. 
The opponent goes back still with the rook and I go on to the second rank hitting the knight. Knight steps away. I take a pawn. Open does take. I take back. Quite a good position here. Uh, almost equal, I would say. Open is having a center patch pawn, but my king is in time. Tries to defend and blocks it. And then I can grab another pawn. Open tries to push for the pawn onto a4. I get behind uh, with the rook. Open tries to attack my pawn. I take the d7 first, which was the past center pawn. Open takes my pawn on b6. I try to hit the rook and defend the pawn here. Open goes uh, to rook to f6, uh, trying to grab on the f7. So I first moved h5 so that once the pawn is captured, I can simply slide under. No threats now. Open goes to defend the pawn. And now I start my march with the king towards the a4 pawn. Open uh, keeps moving up with the king then. And then rook comes to e4. And I play a5, a king a5 finally. Open tries to hit the pawn, but I take on the pawn first on the a file. Open also takes, uh, and then I move my rook onto the c file. Now it's important. The idea behind keeping it on the c file was once I get a check next, I can offer rook exchange, defend the pawn, or if my open does take, I will have a pass pawn, and this pawn cannot be stopped once uh, I trade off the rooks. Open does give check. I offer rook exchange, but now open denies. Of course, understanding that it can be traded off. And then I had to move the king first so that my king is in ahead and then helps in promotion of the pawn. Open goes for g4, trying to exchange the pawns, uh, which does happen. And then I push my king to b3. Uh, sorry, c3. Open places, pushes the pawn forward to g5. My pawn goes to b5. He just kept pushing on pawns. And here, open had to play uh, king. To, uh, had to play rook to h8, but open plays rook to uh, b8, which allows me to give a check. So open had to not allow me to give a check, which open does eventually. And after king to g3, I give another check and grab the pawn. And now to be noticed, my pawn is still defended, so I have no issues. Open goes to uh, king with to e3, and I go to d7, rook d7, trying to make sure the rook, the king is cut off from the uh, d file. Here, open gives a check, and I go with king to uh, b2. Open pushes the king down, but cannot do much because I have this control of the d file. And then I move my rook to d4. Open hits, hits my rook with the king, uh, so I had to get it down again. And then I just maneuver my king to sidestep. Uh, Open gives a check. I push my king to b1 and then the final pawn push. Now, this is the Lucina position. Uh, the whole idea behind this and to convert this into a winning position is get your king around uh, upwards. Uh, and once uh, you can get the, your rook onto the fourth or fifth rank, and then you can get the rook in between and trade off the rooks so that you can push the pawn eventually. That's how the only way you can do this. And that's what I try to do here. Got my rook on the fourth rank. Moved my king to c2. Open gives a check. Now I come to b3. And now there's one final check which can come. And then I defend with the rook. That's like creating a bridge in between uh, the king and the open rook with my own rook. That's a bridge created. And that's the Lucina position solving. Open can take but doesn't take. I promote to queen. And now it's end moments. I thought of exchanging the queens, uh, the rooks, sorry. Got, I had got extra queen. And then I was just playing on time there and trying to checkmate as well. Uh, but I had less time on the clock and it ran out. So it ended up as draw. But it was a complete winning position because I knew how to solve the Lucina position, how to handle it. So the only way to do that is to create... Uh, a bridge between your pawn, uh, your king and the open's rook. Uh, that's what we do here exactly. Uh, get your king up and then get the rook in between and then trade off the rooks if required and promote. I hope you liked the video. It was instructive, I hope. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. And please do subscribe to the channel. It doesn't take away a lot of stuff from your side. That's like free of cost and doesn't take much time as well. So please do subscribe. That helps me grow the channel. Uh, and yeah, keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel again if you haven't already by now.
and I shall see you tomorrow with some instructive and interesting content. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.